What's with the long face? Tired? Ate too many sardines? Got sardine bones stuck in your teeth? I'm not tired. I could never eat too many sardines. And the bones have already been taken care of. I'm just thinking over some things. Can you be quiet for a while? Think, thinking things over? You? Have you ever done anything that wasn't spontaneous? This isn't like you. Hey, you! Come over here! Wh what is it? Hey! Stop pulling me! You idiot! Don't you get it? He's thinking about that angel girl. The angel? You mean the angel of Avarice? Oh, he still hasn't gotten over the fact that he let her go. Well, she did end up stealing all the money from the Information Bureau. <laughs> Man, her greediness is the stuff of legend. You're such a child. That's not why he's so out of it. Love must have something to do with his attitude. I can totally sense it. Love? That's a final boss's arch enemy. Tesco is getting excited! <laughs> Love between a demon and angel? <laughs> that hat must be rotten your brain. Especially when you're talking about THE Tyrant Balvatores. That's impossible! My brain is as fresh as it can be. But then, how did he know that angel's name? They must have known each other in the past. So? Well, that doesn't mean they were in love. Desco is suspicious, especially since the tyrant let his prey run away so easily. Big Sis's theory is right. Desco stakes her reputation on it. Well, it's definitely weird, but... So... Is that what love is? It's love. L-O-V-E. I see. You know what? I'm starting to think you two are right. Plus, Mr. Valvatora shouted that she was supposed to be dead. <gasps> that means they were separated by death. That was their dramatic reunion. Desco can't... Desco can't... Desco can't stand this as a final boss. It has struck her heart. Forbidden love between a demon and angel. <laughs> My dream is getting... All delusional. Calm yourselves, you little bitches. I'm going to rip your tongues out and feed them to the sludges if you don't. Somehow that doesn't sound like a joke when it comes out of your mouth. Of course it doesn't. It wasn't meant as a joke. He means it, Big Sis. It would be very hard to eat without a tongue. Desco is scared. Hmm. You're nowhere close to being a final boss if you're really that scared. You're not one to talk. Your voice and your knees are shaking like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> that angel was just a common thief. Her presence poses no risk to our goals. Right, my lord? Hmm? Indeed. However, we can't ignore this matter either. If she's after the Netherworld's money, we should ignore her. It is your duty to ignore such futile matters in favor of keeping your focus on the big picture. I see. If you insist, then I agree. So, what shall be our next step? I already have something in mind. According to our research, which Sir Fenric ordered us to undertake, we suggest you move on to the mid-level demon area, dude. If you can bring them under your control, you'll gain the support of all the independent voters of the mid and lower levels, dude. That includes over half the Netherworld supporters. And that's all I got, dude! With that being said, what do you think, my lord? Mid-level demons? That may actually require a bit more effort this time. The Corruptor Mint has put a bounty on our heads after our invasions of the Plebeians and the Information Bureau. I expect the Corruptorment will intensify their efforts against us from now on. Bounty? Seriously? We're wanted now? Desco feels one step closer to becoming our final boss! <laughs> wanted? I bet they're still calling me the fake Amazel! Bounty, huh? Interesting. So, how much are we worth? 10,000 hell, my lord. 
10,000, that's all? Those bastards, how could they? Make them regret putting such a low bounty on us? They're probably just broke. But as long as my lord is motivated, I'm fine with you keeping it that way. Indeed. Then let's go to bring Hades to the netherworld and teach every living creature a lesson. Okay, to become the netherworld president. To become a magnificent final boss. To become a great demon and make father proud. Their goals are completely different from one another. That doesn't matter. No matter our goals, there's only one path we each can take. We are more united than ever. To fulfill each of our goals and to usurp the regime, let us bring the bourgeoisie under our control. Episode 5, The Angel of Atlas. Central Netherworld, an area brimming with demons of approximately mid-boss power levels. However, this area has gone through quite a transformation since the days it was a training ground for aggressive demons, working their way up to becoming upper-class demons and boss characters. This is the mid-level demon area. Huh, is this an amusement park? It looks like fun. Jessica wants to play with Big Sid. Let's go on that ride! Idiots! Sure it looks like a ride, but it's actually a training machine! A training machine? How do you train with that? Well, I don't know either. Do you, Bowsy? There used to be this machine where you had to catch a giant hammer, a hydrochloric acid swimming pool, and other serious facilities. I'm assuming that along with the Corruptum, this training ground has become a joke of its former self. You, Lass, I couldn't help but notice your comment. Did you just call our Lord? Oh, Bowsy? Who cares? This is just a dream. I don't mind having a demon friend. Friend? Don't be a fool. Neither our Lord nor I need any human friends. Oh yeah, right. I bet you just want a nickname too. Okay then, I'll call you Fen Fen. Fen Fen? <laughs> I haven't seen anyone walk all over you like that in quite a while. I find it quite amusing. It wouldn't hurt to get to learn about human beings by befriending them. My lord! <gasps> Jessica wants to be included too! Valsy, Fen Fen! <sighs> If not for Lord Val's warm words, your lives will be at stake right now. Look! Those are the wanted people! Whoa! I was so absorbed in all the nickname talk that I didn't even notice they found us! What a warm welcome. I'm starting to like being treated as a bounty. <laughs> of the mid-level area. These enemies look more malicious than ever. Tesco can't wait to kill them all! <sighs> Are these the rebels from Hades who tarnished the name of Sura I knew it! But I won't let that get to me. I'll prove to them that they're looking at the real deal with my own power! You bastard! You've got a lot of nerve posing into this bird. We're all dangerous demons here! You shameless thieves! Thieves? Are you talking about one of our invasions of the Corruptorman's territory? How dare you play innocent in front of us? You're conspiring to take all of our valuables with the help of the Angel of Avarice. What did you say? I am not allied with any angel. 
I'll proudly admit all of the evil doings that I've done, but I won't admit to anything that I don't remember doing, good or bad. The Corrupterman's propaganda. Their influence remains strong, even without the Information Bureau. Anyway, conspiring with that angel? <laughs> what a heap of rubbish. Is this another one of my father's orders? Is he the one who's been behind this all along? He used to despise schemers. His motto was, fight violence with violence, fair and square. Really? I've been trying to imagine what kind of a person he is by judging his dirty tactics. No, I know what kind of person he was. That's the main reason why I refuse to believe he was involved from the beginning. Have you picked which one of you wants to die first? The Corruptorman promised that if we defeat you guys, we get the bounty money. And we also get to do whatever we want with your money! <laughs> this is a once in an after lifetime opportunity. I'm taking all the prizes. You're right, this is rare indeed. In fact, it's so rare it had never happened, but you're still falling for it. <laughs> These idiots. However, as long as these idiots remain, it's an effective tactic. What shall we do, my lord? The Corruptorment is trying to pin all the blame on us. We already knew that the Corruptorment has always used such cheap tactics. This is no surprise to me. However, I can't help but feel a little hopeless when even these mid-level demons are foolishly falling for their propaganda. Then please, be an example for them by fighting against the Corruptorment as the most exemplary demon of all. Splendid idea. I shall show them what a fighting Trini instructor can do! Um, my lord? How about doing it as a tyrant?
Please have mercy. Your misery. Pathetic. Even if their corruption was born of greed, I can't believe that's all they've got. And they were only fighting against a pretty instructor, not a tyrant. The state of the corruptor men is worse than I thought. We must take control of the entire netherworld soon, or demons will go extinct. As you stated, the degree to which these demons have weakened is a severe matter that we can't overlook. There must be a problem with the fear energy that's supporting the netherworld. We have no time to waste. Fear energy? Okay, whatever. So, Valsy, tell us something about that angel. I thought I warned you that I'd rip your tongue out if you didn't stop with that nonsense. Is that what you want? It's not nonsense. Half the reason we were dragged into this mess is that angel's fault. We have a right to know. You're obligated to explain it to us. Ooh, as expected of Big Sis, forcing her selfishness through any argument, no matter what. Vesco is impressed. Are you certain of that? If you keep this up, I will inflict an unbelievable amount of pain on you, whether this is a dream or not. Uh, that's not a joke either, right? B Big Sis, you can do it! Desco will protect you from behind! From behind? That's enough, Fenric. You're starting to lose it. Besides, there's also nothing I can say about that angel. I've never been acquainted with an angel. But 
you knew her name. She said her name is Volcanus. I don't know anyone by that name. She looks similar to someone I've met before. I simply mistook her for someone else. Someone you've met before? That's not the kind of feeling I was getting from you. So what happened to that person? <clears throat> she was killed. In a foolish war between the humans. A war? Does that have anything to do with the reason why you got so offended when I declared war on you before? Why don't you stop with all your speculations? Our Lord would never be affected by a human. How can you be so sure? Maybe that person became an angel after she died. Yeah, I've heard that super pure human souls can sometimes become angels. If by any chance she did become an angel, she would never engage in thefts. Never. She possessed the purest heart. Even I had a hard time. So, continuing where we left off, how did you meet the girl who looks like that angel? Must you keep? Come on, it's all right. It's no big deal. See, Fen Fen, we have your lord's permission. <laughs> How did we meet? Oh, that's right. It was back when I was still known as the Tyrant. Back then, I was still following my instincts, beating sense, namely fear, into the humans, and drank as much of their blood as I desired. And then she appeared before me. Love at first sight? Oh! <laughs> so... This is how the, the love started? Desco will see right through this love as a final boss. Love at first sight. Me? I'm curious to learn what kinds of strange things your brains are stuffed with. Demons have an important duty, keeping order in the universe by planting fear into the humans' minds to tame them. Unaware of our noble duty, the humans made us out to be vulgar beings with their exaggerated depictions of demons. Even things like how vampires love to suck the blood of beautiful women and virgins, and other false rumors. Martina and I met during a vampire hunt that began thanks to one of those rumors. Tina wasn't afraid of me. She even sympathized with me. You need human blood to survive? I feel for you. If you'd like mine, go ahead. Not to flatter myself, but I'm pretty cute and I'm a virgin. My blood should taste mouthwateringly good. But promise me one thing. Please don't drink any other human's blood after this. You... You worried for your life? Who are you not to fear me? I'm just an average civilian. I'm also a nurse. I try to keep myself pure, so please, go ahead and take my blood. My pride will not allow me to indulge in the blood of a human who possesses no fear of demons. To fulfill my duties as a demon, I will bring you to the depths of fear before I take your blood. Uh-huh. Okay, it's a promise then. Please don't take anyone else's blood until you scare me somehow. A promise, you say? I am pleased. I will take up that promise. Scaring you shouldn't be much of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you better keep it. Just so you know, it's actually going to be quite tough to scare me. we're in the middle of a war. Just pray for me so I won't die before you get the chance to scare me. <laughs> Demons don't pray. However, it wouldn't be good for me if you die. Very well. Until I keep my promise, I'll watch over you so you won't die. Nevertheless, it won't take long. I give it three days until I get to take your blood. 
the reason why you stopped drinking blood? A vampire's power comes from human blood. If he won't drink it, then of course... His power has gone. It is the biggest regret of my life. If only I were by his side, that wouldn't have happened. N no way! How could a legendary tyrant drop to this level just because of some promise that he made to a human female? Well, what happened, happened. He's a pretty instructor now. Anyway, I never would have expected you to be the type who would go head over heels for some lady. You want it, bastards? Die! You die! We were in the middle of some love talk! Dusko will not let anything come between Big Sis and love talk! Dusko will kill you!
Let's go. insist on keeping this up? Enough already! Sometimes it's important to hear what your subordinates have to say. It's fine. Ask me anything. My lord, are you actually enjoying this? <laughs> he refused to talk earlier, but he's willing to tell us about it now. We're just like real friends. Okay, I've got a question. So, is that promise really the reason why you stopped drinking human blood? Indeed. It must have been really important if it got a vampire to stop drinking human blood. Promises, contracts, they are equally noble and sublime to demons. Importance is not the point. However, I wasn't aware of the weight of a promise back then. After that promise, after I told her I'd watch over her so she wouldn't die. Because I took the promise lightly, I felt the weight of it through severe pain three days later. And that's why you're so obsessed with keeping promises. But what are you going to do now that the person you made the promise to is dead? Are you never going to drink blood ever again? Her life or death doesn't matter. I will keep my promise. I made a vow to myself that day. I will never break a promise. He won't change his mind, no matter how many times I tell him to forget the promise. That's why he remains so powerless. The reason that woman died was because of a human war. Our Lord is not to blame for this. It's all because of that futile promise. Say no more, Fenrir. Since she died before I got to keep my promise, I must refrain from drinking human blood. If that angel is Artina, then this is good news for me. I'll finally have the opportunity to scare her and drink her blood. I really hope that's how he truly feels. I shouldn't ignore what you just said, but 
First things first, we need to kill this angel. Sure, go right ahead. I'm glad you're helping to get rid of her. I'm tired of being accused of working with that angel. Right, my lord? Right, but... Just a dirty thief. Persecuting her is the right thing to do. Hmm, that is true. She can't complain for being killed after all the things she's done around the netherworld. Oh, so no lovey-dovey event. Despo is disappointed. No, bad party! You guys shouldn't give up on her. going to give the Corruptorment more reason to bring us down. Are you going to shoulder all the crimes that Angel has committed in the Netherworld? I can't afford for you to misunderstand how much this is going to affect our ability to accomplish our goal of usurping the regime. <sighs> you can't seriously be seeing that thief as some woman who's already dead. is telling me that she isn't the same woman, but I just can't stand here and watch that happen either. Yes, there it is! The love flag! Ah! Is this what people call the power of love? Just go in the news! <laughs> the power of love can't be measured by equations! Just as I read in a naughty book. Stupid to be an angel's allies. You scum! You have no right to call yourself demons. Now die! yourself. I can do anything in my dream. I'll do my best. Please follow me.
Still an active Prinny instructor. Displaying such strength, even after losing most of his power, as expected of my lord. Be invincible once he regains his power. Let's do whatever it takes to make that happen. Before that, I must eliminate all unnecessary factors. Now those two will finally be... I hope you don't think you saved me or anything. No, it wasn't my intention. I was merely suppressing those who resist our invasion of this area. I'm glad. I don't intend on paying you back for your help, which I never asked for. Is she really an angel? I've never heard of such a greedy angel before. Hence her nickname, Avarice. She's the complete opposite of purity. Could she really be the wrong lady? But you did save me after all. Saying thanks is free, right? I guess I should thank you. Was unintentional. I don't need your unappreciative thanks. That aside, what do you think you're doing engaging in theft in the netherworld? You keep bringing up money. How bad is the economy in Celestia? Oh, please. What I'm doing is not theft. I'm carrying out collection in the name of justice. Collection? Sure, it's true that the offerings from the human world have decreased, along with peace and order. And we're struggling to gather enough funds to keep Celestia in working order. But that's all because the demons are slacking off, and humans have stopped being afraid of them. They've stopped believing in God. So I'm only here to collect the money that was supposed to be coming to Celestia in the first place. Hey, now! That kind of logic isn't going to work here. Whether it will or not, I don't really care. I didn't expect you all to understand in the first place. Oh, and one more thing. My operation isn't sanctioned by Celestia. I'm doing this all on my own. Who cares if you're doing this by yourself? What do you intend to use that kind of money for? Why should I tell you that? How much will you give me if I do? <laughs> time is money. I don't have any more time to waste. Whoa! What's this? Ah! It says, just go can't see! <laughs> Good day, everyone. Where'd that angel go? Did she get away? We must go after her! My lord, please, wait. Our goal is to take control of this area. I suggest we ignore that thief for now. She said she's not a thief. She claimed her actions are justified and that we demons are to blame. It was just her way of defending herself. We don't have time to make stops if we're to accomplish our goal. I know! Fine. She's probably headed to the largest vault in the area. I'm sure our paths will cross again. If that is the case, what do you intend to do when they do? Well, uh... Will you promise me one thing? If she becomes an obstacle, 
You will use force to eliminate her. It seems like that Angel is a real eyesore for Fenric. I mean, it's natural for demons to despise angels, but... That's not the only reason. It's called jealousy. Jealousy! That's the source of all negative energy in females. And just who is jealous of who, huh? Is there a problem, my lord? Are you putting the well-being of that angel over usurping the regime? That is absolute nonsense! Fine. If she ever gets in the way of us accomplishing our goal, I won't hesitate to take her down. Okay then, my lord. That is a promise. Indeed. It is a promise. Aw, oh, man. Bowsy totally fell for Fen Fen's scheme. Oh! What's gonna happen to his love? Don't look at me!
That angel, is she really that different from that Artina girl? She is completely different. She was a nurse who would treat anyone, even those who couldn't pay for the treatment. To pay for her patient's medicine, she starved herself and lived a poor life. Her soul was nothing but purity. She scrambled across battlefields to treat wounded soldiers, whether they were allies or enemies. Even when she felt isolated because of the indiscriminate care she provided, she stuck strong to her beliefs. Treating the wounded, no matter which side they're on. I know of some humans who still believe in that kind of stuff. <laughs> Does that have anything to do with how she died? Oh, Desko isn't good with those kinds of stories. Desko doesn't know if she wants to hear the rest of the story or not. There they are! The bounty hunt!
have mercy? I'll show you! Then, now that they're all dead. Okay, tell us the rest of the story. So, did Artina die because she was trying to save an enemy? Naturally. One of the enemy's key personnel was among her patients. Because of that, she was suspected of being a spy and was killed by agents of her own nation. Ah, you should have killed everyone who was responsible for letting that happen. Well, of course. That's exactly what I thought at the time. When I arrived on the scene, she was already taking her last breath. When I realized that it was too late for me to scare her, I decided that I had to kill all the humans to appease my anger. But she... Please, reconsider. I... I don't want revenge. Revenge will only create more hatred. And another war. I was only following my beliefs and did as I saw fit. I have no regrets. Make no mistake. It's not revenge I'm after. I will be forbidden from drinking human blood if you die. This is retaliation. Then take my blood. I don't have much of it left anyway. That's absurd. I couldn't possibly drink your blood until I've kept my promise. I made a promise to you. Until I show you the depths of fear, I will not drink any human's blood. Then, I said I was going to watch over you so that this wouldn't happen, but... <laughs> You're pretty earnest, aren't you, Mr. Weirdo? Your loud mouth is proof enough that you'll be fine. Live, and I will plant fear in that incredulous skull of yours. No, I don't think I'll make it. I'm sorry. I've caused so much trouble for you with that stupid promise. My only regret is not being able to let you drink my blood. Hey, don't die! I won't allow you to die without letting me keep my promise! I thought your obsession for promises was weird, especially since you're a demon. I, I didn't know that was the reason. It must have been so hard for you, Valzy. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> poor Miss Artina and Mr. Balbuchara! 
even after her death. She's nothing but a nuisance. Hey, there she is! <laughs> I thought I was getting rather noisy around here. Looks like you guys already defeated the boss in this area. Huh? We did? Tesco doesn't remember doing that. I don't remember either. Did any one of us really do that? Seems like we must have beaten him sometime along the way to getting here. The boss of the bourgeois demons must not have been very memorable. But enough about that. Do you remember the promise you made to me earlier, my lord? Of course. I will never break a promise. However, that promise requires that I defeat the angel when she gets in the way of us accomplishing our goal. I see where you're coming from. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> Anyway, please excuse me now. I have to start heading over to my next target. Did you steal the money already? I doubt the largest vault in the area can be cracked so easily. I didn't steal anything. I thought I told you this is all completely justified. I didn't take a single extra help, so please watch your mouth a little better. If you ever treat me like a thief again, I'll sue you for slander and rake in a mint. Oh, she might actually shake me down if I keep talking. Dusko doesn't get an allowance, so Dusko will be quiet now. Hmm. I'm really starting to doubt that this greedy angel is our team. Are we done now, or do you still have something to say? No, 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 we're done. It seems like we were completely mistaken when we thought you were someone I used to know. What a coincidence. I actually thought I used to know someone with an attitude just like yours. But you're right, it must have been a mistake. It's been a long time since then. We're done here. Let's go, Fenric. My lord, there's more for us to do. You haven't kept the promise you made to me yet. This angel isn't trying to obstruct us in any way. There's no need to get rid of her now, is there? I see. In that case... Hey, angel! You want money, don't you? Then let me tell you something. We've got a bounty on our heads. A pretty high one. A bounty? How much specifically? Exactly 10 million hell. How about it? If you defeat us and hand us over to the Corruptorment, it will all be yours. Well, well. That's very interesting. Ten million hell? Well, sounds like the Corruptorman has finally realized our true value. Don't fall for it! It's not true! Fenric is lying! Fenfen is a liar! A fraud! Only a final boss is allowed to do that! Shut up! Even if the bounty reward is a lie, it's still a fact that this woman will get in the way of us usurping the regime. I simply took the initiative in trying to eliminate a future problem for us. She is not wanted around here. Love is unnecessary for a man who will soon rule the world. Finfin, fin, do you, uh, swing that way? Ten million hell. I'll reach my goal in a snap with that kind of money. soon as she heard the amount! Love and 
Those aren't the only things that help you power up. I must take note of this. Huh? Seriously? Are we really gonna fight an angel? My dream. My brain. Am I really thinking about such a milky situation? What do you say, my lord? This woman is trying to get in our way. I appreciate this, Fenrir. As expected of my servant, this is the perfect strategy. All is for my lord. This woman is not her. She couldn't possibly be Artina. She would never act like this. Even if I defeat her, it shouldn't be a problem. Sardine power!
As expected of my lord, you have kept your promise. <laughs> I'm a man of my word. There's no need to praise me for doing something that is expected of me. Looks like this is the end for the Angel of Avarice. So, what now? Oh, that reminds me, there's a bounty on you too. For the upcoming presidential evil action, we'll need some funds. Wouldn't be a bad idea to fund our regime usurpation project with the money on your head. Oh, Fen Fen is so evil! He's evil and awful! So Desko should learn from him. It's the right thing for a demon to do, but it's hard to believe that he's doing this solely for his lord. He looks like a serious villain. It really suits him, though. Say what you want. This is why women and children are so troublesome. They let their emotions blind them to the big picture. There's no point in explaining anything to shallow-minded individuals. But what about you? Is there anything you'd like to mention? I'll let you say it for free. May I ask you something? Me? What is it? Why is the Netherworld neglecting the human world when such a powerful demon as you exists here? I've been told that demons tame humans by planting fear in their hearts to keep them in line. But you have neglected your duties and are just watching the humans follow the wrong path. Why is this happening? You have the power to change this, so why aren't you doing anything? That's the exact same question I have. I'm just a Prinny instructor. A Prinny instructor? You? Indeed. The Corruptorment and the Netherworld have fallen to the point where a demon like me is forced to take a stand to correct it. If it was up to me, and I hadn't lost my power, I'd easily send all the demons and humans to Hades, but... You... lost your power? It's a long story. I'm a vampire, but I forbid myself from drinking human blood. A vampire forbidden from sucking blood. I see. But, thanks to sardines, even after losing my power, I'm still able to fight to accomplish my goal. It's taken me a long time to realize that things have gotten so bad, but it's still not too late. I shall eventually take over the Corruptiment and teach all the worlds a lesson. A demonic social reformer. Mr. Weirdo. I'll soon be traded into the Corruptorment from the bounty on my head. But... Won't you tell me your name? For free, if possible. Uh, my name is Balbatores. A demon who was once known as the Tyrant. Balbatores. <gasps> that reaction! She has to be... That's enough. You've got to speak with a man who will soon become the Netherworld ruler. You should be honored. Now, instead of wasting any more time here, we must go trade her. Look out! What are you doing? Ah! The love scene at last? You! Get off of him! Hey, hey, get a hold of yourself! Everyone, look! <laughs> Looks like my era has just begun. Warden Axel, you're alive! Why did you protect me? I thought money was the only thing you cared for. Damn it! Why? Why do I keep seeing Martina in you? Martina are two different people. So why? Answer me! You can't die until you answer me! This encounter, later to be known as the Angel of Avarice incident, came to an end in a most unexpected fashion. Tyrant Valvatores is shot which heralded the end of the incident, was said to have shaken the entire Netherworld.
like a lightning bolt from a clear sky, an ephemeral existence snuffed out by great violence. It must really suck for you. That angel might have been our Tina. Even if some fish have washy in their names, they're not always considered to be sardines outside of Japan. Sardines again? Is he trying to use sardines as a way to escape from reality? Big fish that swim in foreign seas are called oki iwashi and itohiki iwashi, even though they are deep sea fish. There's no end to the sardine spirit in Japanese culture. Someday, every fish will be called something iwashi. Whatever. Why don't we start calling every fish an iwashi? Next time, episode six, Sayonara, Sensible Battlefront. Your sardine standards are distorted. There's no room for despair. He's really losing himself. Oh, that dreadful woman. <laughs>